Yo, yo, what's good? My name is Durim. I'm the owner of Tri-State Luxury Rentals, and you're listening to the Questionable Behavior Podcast. Welcome to the Questionable Behavior Podcast. Please don't forget to follow us on Instagram at the underscore QBPC. Also, give us five stars on all your favorite podcast episodes. Subscribe to the channel, Google, everything. We out here. We got another Albanian on the show. We've had a lot of Albanians recently, but my boy Durim Juta. Bro, how do, you, how do they say it in English? They say uh, Durim, Durham, different shit. Durham. Yeah, Durham. however they catch it. In Albanian, it's Durim Juta. Yes, sir. Yeah, all right. We got a young entrepreneur. Uh, this kid's I honestly fucking, bro, you 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 amaze me. I'm not going to lie, bro. You're Appreciate 18. That. You're fucking killing it right now. in, in uh, Luxury rentals and everything you're doing, you're killing it right now. So I want to talk to you. First of all, we're going to get into the business, all right? The business that you're really into right now, you have luxury cars that you're renting out. Uh, artists are renting them for music videos. People are renting them just to stunt for a day and, yeah. you know, all that. So tell me just a little bit about, like, name drop some people that you've already worked with so people understand, like, you know, it's not just some, I mean, it's not just some like, fucking young kid, like, oh, yeah, he's got a car. No, you're fucking working with the best of the best right now in the area, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much everywhere as far as, like, you know, the industry comes with, like, rap or hip-hop or whatever. You know, I work very close with A Boogie. Uh, I worked with Fetty Wap when I was younger, all the other, for French Montana, Diddy. I mean, the list goes on, honestly. Yeah. Just, I forget sometimes. It's right. just, you know what I'm saying? Baby, all these guys. It, it just all depends. So tell me, like, a little bit, you know, you, you started kind of doing, uh, mess, working with cars in general and getting into cars when you were young. You were, like, 13, 14, kind of going into, like, different shows, different auctions, whatever the case might be. Tell me how that all started as, like, a 14-year-old. You were just telling me earlier you, you, you were brokering other people's cars at 14 years old. So how, how does that all get started? Well, I mean, when I was, I was what, th- 14, I think, my dad got his, uh, like, the first exotic car we ever had, it was a Rolls Royce Wraith. You know, like, if probably, if it wasn't for me, probably he doesn't care about cars. He probably right. never got it. But whatever, I was pushing him, this, that. So he ended up getting the car. Uh, and, you know, I was crazy. Like, I've been driving, like, since I was 12, whatever, you know, keep on the hush. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's too late now. They can't get you for the fast, yeah, bro. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. What's up? So uh, I, was, I was 14, whatever. My dad was trusting me with the car. I would go to, uh, the, the, there was this one annual car show every year, Top Gear Porsche. Um, this guy that I know, Sean, actually puts it on. Mm. It's for St. Jude's and all that. So, um, where's that at? It's, they do it, uh, it's at the Garden State Plaza. Usually they do it every gotcha. year. It gets bigger and bigger. But ever since the pandemic, you know, it's been like right, tough. Of course. So, um, we were at, uh, I, I drove to that, that show. I'm there, you know, I, I mean, obviously I pulled up in a crazy car, but like, you know, I'm a, I'm a car lover, always will be, you know, so I see other other cars, whatever, I'm looking and talking to the guys, you know, like one thing my mom and, and dad always told me was like, yo, don't be shy, especially like in this industry, like you got to, you know, talk less and listen more, but when you got to talk, you got to talk, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So I was always like the youngest person there talking to like all the big dogs, you know, like big millionaire, billionaire guys. Talking Asking to them. questions, talking to them. Yeah, yeah, like Just always. learning everything about, like, just that. Exactly. Just taking anything in and then filtering out what I what I wanted to, to keep. You know what right. I'm saying? So I met this one guy. He was in the business, in the, you know, in the car rental business. And he was telling me, he's like, yo, um, you know, you can make money off your cars, giving it out to people, this and that. So he I was... He saw you with the car you pulled up and he started, like... Exactly. Yeah, he's giving you a little bit of business knowledge. Like, you can make money off this. Exactly. But me, you know, the car was brand new. I'm like, yo, no one's touched Nobody this touched. car. <laughs> he's like, nah, you don't gotta just, you don't gotta jump right into that. You could just give it out for music videos. You know what I'm saying? So people just kind of leave it. You're driving it. Exactly. Just it. straight yeah. prop. The car is there. One hour, two hours. You know, you price it kind of whatever you want because the car is yours. Right. So I would, I was begging, you know, that doesn't sound too bad. You know, why not? Get my feet wet in the business and whatever. So I was, I would always like, I mean, I would always call him like, I was probably annoying, but whatever, you know, you got to yeah. do something. So I would always call him like, yo, what do you think? Right when I would get, I would put it on my Instagram, right when I would get hit for uh, a video shoot, they'd be like, you know, I'd be like, I'd call him like, yo, what should I charge this guy? Right. He's like, yo, the car is yours, you know? So I, at first I would like low ball. I was like, yo, how about like 200 bucks now? He's like, yo, are you crazy? Yeah, yeah. $200 yeah. for the Rolls Royce. Yeah. yeah so I, then I was like, you know what, bro? Fuck it. Whatever. 600 an hour. And some guy booked it for four hours, you know? Yeah. So I was like, wow. Like, you know, I came home 600 an hour. 
whatever. Twenty four hours. You just parked the car there, basically. Exactly, like literally yeah. nothing. I come home, give my mom the money. She's, right. She's like, "What's this?" I was like, "Yo, what's up?" <laughs> I put the car. I parked it yeah. for four hours, <laughs> chilling. So whatever. It all started like kind of like that. And like one thing I'll never. So th this guy was like your mentor, basically. Yeah, sense. yeah. He was, he was, he was there. But like you know, one thing about this business and the guys that are in this business, they'll give you like let's say it's a hundred percent. They'll give you like three percent. Mm. You know, they have the knowledge. You know, they'll, they'll right, just right, dabble right. you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And that that three percent was hey, you know, go make a little bit of money with the with the video shoot. Yeah. But as far as whatever, you're on your own. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I just kept banging out the music videos, boom, 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 every every weekend, like two or three music videos. So I was like, word. Just with know? the one car at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, just one car. Just the Rolls Royce. That's three. it. Yeah. And then, you know, a, uh, I actually got a call from Fetty's manager, Fetty mm -hmm. Watts manager. Yeah. Like, Yo, we see uh, you have the only Wraith in the area for music videos, whatever. I was like, all right, word, you know. And I taxed him. I, I taxed him 700 an hour. Yeah, you know, I was like, whatever. Next like you know? hundred, yeah, you exactly. Go up, I know you. <laughs> yeah, three hours. Yeah, and then like that's when it all kind of changed because like every other music video was like it was I, right, it was peaceful, whatever. There's that. I'm with Fetty. I'm in Patterson, Governor Street. Oh right, worst yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah. Right. And uh, yo, so I'm there, bro. Dirt bikers, this and that. People pulling out guns, this that. I'm like, you know, and you're like, what, like 15 at this point, 16. Uh, I was 15. And how did all right? So now you're you're driving the car in at 15. Yeah. You're pulling up. Are you going alone? Most of, like, when I first started, yeah. Yeah, so now you're putting up a Fetty Wap video in Patterson, Governor Street, 15 years old, the Rolls Royce. Yeah. How are you holding yourself up at that point? Uh, At first, I didn't know how to hold myself up. And then, like, it's not like I didn't know, but it was, like, more of, like, yo, that's Fetty Wap. Like, yeah. do I look? Do I not look? Do I talk? Do I not talk? Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. And then my boy actually was there at the time. Uh, my two, two of my boys. And uh, this uh, one, of the, one of the boys I was talking about, that I'm talking about, he was in the uh, the sprinter business mm, that you. he would drive yeah, artists right. around. So he he grabbed me. He's like, "Yo, go up to him, tell him you need your money and this and that." So I was like, "Damn, word." Oh yeah, because now right, you now gotta get paid. Now it's back to business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I go up to him. I'm like, "Yo, I need the 700 before we start." 700. It was like two hours. 1400. Yeah. So boom, he's like, you know, I respect that you coming up to me. I was like, oh, all right, bet. Like, so yeah. he paid up, whatever. Did the music video, and I dip. Yeah. Right when I posted Fetty Wap with the car, music video came out. That's kind of when everything like started going like, oh shit, yeah, Fetty Wap using the service. Did you have a name at that point already, like in regards to like a business name, or it was just nah, kind of like nah, good, good in with the car? Exactly, you know? exactly. That, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. So once I built my name in the car industry, the car uh, community. Uh, that's when I started talking to the other owners that would own exotic car rent, uh, rental companies. Mm -hmm. And I would be like, hey, listen, I have one car. I don't want to give it out for rent, but you have uh, eight X, cars. Y, Z, I can... And I can, uh, I, you know, I would get calls all the time. Hey, I want to I do a self-drive rental. I'm sorry, I don't provide that, yeah. whatever. So now I, I got, you know, it was three other, uh, it was three companies that I was... Uh, kind of with. finding clients for them at that point. Exactly. Being like so a middleman. They would give me a wholesale cost. I would put like two or three hundred bucks on top. And just, I was just playing dot connector at that point. Right, right. That's all. Just middleman connecting. All right, I got this car. Now listing all these different. Now you have the chance to list all these different fucking products. With exactly. All. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Which now, where I, now that I am where I am, I hate the guys that do that just because I see the other side of the perspective. Right. But I, I was one of them, you know, so yeah. you can't, you can hate, but whatever, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you, you're, you're finding more clients, you're getting those cars, exactly. you know, you're still exactly. getting the money, you know, so it's like. Exactly. So that went on for like a year uh, until I was 15, 16. I had just 17. turned 17 then. Um, and then I, 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 like, I remember I'm sitting outside my crib in my back, in my backyard with my parents. I'm like, yo, this is a real business. Mm -hmm. Like. You know, now it's time to buy. Your yeah, first we, we got to really. do something. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever. I was every night, like, the one thing I would always do every night was like just search cars.com, car gurus, looking for deals. You know, not like today, you never find deals in today's right. market, but whatever. So, I came across this orange Lambo that was in Palm Beach, Florida. It actually wasn't even on the market yet. Whatever, price was good. I'm telling my parents, my mom's like, ah, I don't know. My dad's like, ah, you know. It, it was more of like a why, 
like they believed in me, but it was like, listen, you're gonna put, uh, you know, all this, this much money. money down, you know. Whatever. Yeah. Like now that's looking at the numbers and the risk involved with those big exactly. numbers. Exactly. So it was like it was it was uh, for me it was like you know let's do it because you know I'm still a kid right. you know I'm like yo let's go let's go. Yeah, me here, I got it, I could do it. Exactly, but they're looking at the backside, you know. So whatever, everything went good. Uh, I had collected some money from the video shoots and the brokering. And then my parents, uh, they gave, uh, it was 50000 for the down payment. Like, that was like, you know, this yeah. is for you, whatever, you pay it back whenever right. everything goes. So now me and my dad were flying to uh, Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know, let me not buy the car without seeing it. Let me of go course. see it, whatever. Right. So we're flying to Palm Beach. And, yo, I'm on the airplane. I'm like, what the fuck did I do? Like, I'm having second thoughts. Uh, on the plane right there. Yeah, like, straight oh, up. Oh, I'm shit. like, I'm like, damn, like, yo. That's $50,000. Yeah, I had a check literally in the envelope. <laughs> my mom signed everything because it's on my mom's name with the right. company. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're, you're fucking like 16, 17. You can't even have a company. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> literally. So I'm like, yo, what the fuck did I do? I'm like, no, I was like, yo, is it too late to turn around? But I'm just keeping this to myself, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're like, I can't, I, yeah. I'm here with my dad, I can't tell him I'm like, no yeah, now. I can't be like a, you know, like, type, like, bitch After shit, you know what I'm saying? just begging him the whole time. Yeah, like, bro, it's a couple months. Car. So whatever, yo, we land, I'm like, fuck. I'm like, damn, bro. Yo, so we go there, I see the car, and uh, I'm like, yo, it's, it's a hot car, it's fire. I wasn't even thinking about the car at that point. I was just thinking like, yo, how am I going to make this money? Right, you got to make it back. That's, yeah, it I'm not honestly. I'm like, yo, the car is dope. Like, I love it. You know, it's crazy, surreal. I have a Lambo, whatever. But I was like, bro, I gotta make this money back. Right. So, I, you know, we get the car. We're driving back. My dad drives it from. Uh, my dad was driving because you know it was like. Of course, yeah. Yeah, he's driving the car, and we're driving from uh, Palm Beach to Miami. It's like a two-hour drive, whatever. My dad's ripping it. He's like, damn, you know, we should have got, we should have been had one of these, you know. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was feeling it. Now yeah, I was, I was like, yeah, we should have like, had yeah, one of them. Yeah, you're sweating, like yeah. fucking $50,000. <laughs> yeah, so, so you know, at that point, we get to Miami, I take a picture, I put on the gram. Mm. I'm like, boom, first car added to the fleet, company name, Tri-State Luxury Rentals. I yeah. made the Instagram page, everything is done, whatever. I post the car, literally, like, I don't even know. By the By the next day, at that time, like 6 p.m. next day, the car was out for the first, the whole first week. Oh, so now you're like, all like, the second yeah. thoughts are out the window. Yeah, I was yeah, like, like, all right, uh, bet. Bro, I, was, we got, I was like, I knew I it. I always do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, I knew it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, yeah, bet. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. I did that, of course. Yeah. Of course. I never second guess myself. <laughs> yeah, so it was, it was 1400 per day as the price I had it at. Yeah. Uh, 24 hours is your day. Listen, first week, seven days, boom done wow. rent it out deposits in everything i was like holy shit yeah at that point you're fucking basically you, you made over ten thousand dollars in a week yeah you literally know, almost gave so almost gave like, a deposit back yeah. yeah so i was like word so whatever the next day i tell my dad i'm like yo <laughs> it's out for the first week yeah don't you know the guy from uh palm beach calls me back right calls me he's like yo you'll never believe what we just got i'm like what bro <laughs> I start swearing again. I'm like, what? He's like, yo, we have a Lamborghini Urus. It just came in demo. It's a, it was they call it a demo, where it has like a little like, like a, four or five hundred yeah, miles, like, yeah, whatever. Miles to... But they were giving it for a crazy price, you know. Mm -hmm. So my dad is uh, he he's like he jumps more, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, he's more yeah. of like the he jumps. Take that fucking deal. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He's more of the jumper, and then my mom is like more of the backbone, you know? Like yeah. yo, chill, whatever. So yo, don't you know? That day, we're driving back down to Palm Beach. A week uh, later, basically. No, no, no. That The next oh, the day, same, I'm the still in day? Miami. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm in Miami with the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you're in Miami. You didn't even fucking leave the, Yeah, I Miami didn't transport yet, the car and back. And it's already booked for a week. Yeah, for the week after. Like, the, yeah. the week that I bring the car right. back home, that week is done. Yeah. So, so put it this way. Like, let's say it was a Friday. Right. I picked up the car on Thursday. Yeah. Today's Friday. The guy calls me back. Yo, we got a Urus. I'm like, yo, cuz, it's been one day. Right. Like, you know, I, I know you got me for the first one, but like, chill, you know? Yeah, yeah, relax. I tell my dad the price. He's like, yo, just check the market. What are the other ones? Yo, this was like 20 Gs on the market. Yeah. My dad's like, do you think you can make money with this car? I'm like, maybe, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and whatever. So, yo, we just go back. We go there. Um, again, my mom, you know, she's... 
She's bugging out now. She's like, you it's, got it's like a thousand dollars. Yeah, it's a bug out, but it's like more. It's like yo, like you sure, whatever. Yeah. So she agrees. Uh, they, I mean, they have the paperwork from yesterday, so they can't. Right. You know, they don't gotta ask her for anything. Whatever. Boom. Get the fucking second one. Another fifty racks for my parents. Yeah. I'm like, damn. I was in the whole fifty. Now I'm in the whole hundred. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. Again, bro, the sweating. Now. Me and my dad are driving. Uh, no, sorry. This one, we left it there because they had to get a service. Right. And the next day, me and my dad are flying back mm -hmm. from, um, from Miami, from yeah. Palm Beach, whatever. Yeah. So three days later, later, both cars show up in front of my house. Yeah. So three days later, both cars, boom, right in front. Both cars back, whatever, in front. Yo, so I put um, both cars there. I post both cars. The years is slow at first. I'm like, oh my God. As you know, the first one I posted, first week was gone. This shit, I'm posting, no bites. I'm like, oh, oh fuck. Oh, shit. And yo, the Yaris <laughs> was more expensive than the Huracan, right. so you know what I'm saying? So now you're like... I was like, oh, no. <laughs> yo, boom. Another day, no hit. And then I, I get a call from uh, Casanova's manager. Oh, okay. I get a call from Casanova's manager, Sean. Mm -hmm. He's like, uh, yo, I got a music video with Casanova. And um, what was the girl's name, bro? I forgot the feature. I forgot what her name was. <laughs> Whatever, but like, she's, she's a cool girl. Yeah. So yeah, I pull up. Yo, it's Casanova, bro. Right. Big right. dog, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Big, big ass, ass chains, dude, you know Whatever. Yeah, yeah. So yo, he's like, yo, this Uris is hard. This, that. They're filming. I was like, all right, maybe it's not that bad of an idea. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uris, fuck it. So they start filming, whatever. After that day, that's when the truck started going crazy. Like, oh, I didn't even post it. To, I didn't think you didn't even post the Casanova no, yet. No, no. It was just, sudden, it's like, I don't know. Like, just a little bit of a like delay. Like a roadblock. Yeah. yeah. So both cars, both cars basically, we started picking up. Yeah, basically, yeah. You made your money back in months, I guess, in a few months. Uh, the, well, the, the deposit money, money. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, that's kind of all I worried about. The monthly right. payments, I don't really care. It was like, right. listen, so two so days out of the month. A few, a few days. Of yeah, two days. So now your parents are invested, invested big money in you. Yeah. Your father's already a businessman, so... At this point, yeah, he's, along with my mother, obviously, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're they're both, yeah, they're both into business. Yeah, you know yeah. One both, holds the other in, in right, any circumstance. Of course. So yeah. they work together, and so they're both like, and they've they've been in business for a long, long time, time long, long 15, time, 20 I years. Think even even your grandfather, if I'm not mistaken, is also in business. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, you come from a a, a lineage of business minded uh, people. Yes. So now they're seeing their son, 15, 16, 17, doing this thing. Yeah. Uh, what's that conversation like with your father, like? You know it's, what I mean? As he's watching you grow, and now he's obviously he trusts you enough, or he's he's giving you a, an investment at this point, yeah, a hundred thousand dollar investment to get you started in a sense. Exactly, yeah. I mean, the the whole thing was, uh, you know, it was more of like a, you know, listen, we believe we believe in you, um, but believing in you is not going to get it done. You mm -hmm. got to go out, you got to get it done, and that's it. You know, yeah, yeah. short. Like we're not, yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna baby you through this. Yeah, no, you, listen, you the car company you is yours. Yeah. Uh, we're not gonna dirty our hands at all in this. You know, you you're not uh, participating in construction, or not that I had to, not that they wanted right. me to, but they're just saying like, you know, construction is not uh, your your duty or your um, it's not your like your problem. You know, so yeah, you don't yeah. gotta worry about that. You have one one business. Uh, it's the cars. You wanted the cars. You always love cars. Right. Go after it, chase it, and that's it. Yeah. Once yeah. Once they saw you, you're doing your thing. They're like, you know, obviously the the construction is always a fallback at that point because it's like yeah, you know, but I mean you it's, could do it if if you weren't doing anything, you could always exactly like, right, come on get in the construction. Yeah, but, but that was more. See you're doing your thing. They're like, all right, follow your passion. Yeah, you're do your, your thing. thing. You know, we're not gonna bother you, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. So I mean, that's kind of the way it went. You know. So do you, do you uh, talk a lot with them, like for business advice, et cetera, as you Always. keep going? Like, as you Always, keep going every day. I mean, every dollar I make, it's going to sound funny. It goes straight to my mom. Mm. 
Literally, yeah, yeah, she's, she's, she knows, she's, she knows how to. Yeah, you know, with all that, all, all that uh, experience in, in business and whatever, the money's better in her hands than mine. You know what I'm saying? She's, de she's definitely the backbone, not just for your father, for the family. Oh yeah, yeah, easily, yeah, yeah. easily. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she so. takes care of all the funds, uh, literally every dollar. You know, it comes from the client's hand to mine, my hand to hers. You know, right. that's all. And then, uh, so now, as a young kid, you're 15, 16, whatever, you're making this money. How are you spending it at this point? You know what I mean? Like, what, you, you, you know, you can't even imagine yourself going. Yeah. You know, you're not going on crazy vacations by yourself at 15 at this point. Exactly. Not, I mean, like, it's more. You know, getting bottles and shit. Like. You know? But the part that's hard, no, not hard. It, that was good. Uh -huh. uh, was that I had my mom right. giving her. You know, because listen, I'm a 16 year old kid. Listen, All your friends are eating. <laughs> it, it's, it's, I mean, I'm gonna eat first, but I'm gonna eat right. crazy. I'm right, gonna eat right, a buffet. Right. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So the, the thing is like. You know, a 16-year-old kid making, you know, at that at that time with three cars, let's say, I don't know, 50000 a month, for yeah, example, right? right? Uh, what am I going to do with 50 racks a month except blow it? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Literally, buy dumbass shit. Yeah, like, what am yeah. I going to do besides blow it, yeah. you know? So the whole thing was... So she knew how to properly invest in whatnot now to a yeah, point yeah. where you're 18 and you're, you're reinvesting your money in different aspects. You know exactly. I mean? So, like, so, I mean, there was those things where, like, you know, I would have to beg her, like, yo, listen, I'm going to be with these rappers, so I, I, I got to fit in a little bit, you know? Yeah. I'm going to need a watch. Like, just, just one Gucci thing. Right? Yeah, or a Gucci, or like, <laughs> it, it, it started with that. It started with, like, yo, we were at the mall. I was like, yo, listen, it's only 1,200 bucks, you know? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> so, you know, she would give in, and then it was like, and then from there, it was like, yo, this chain is nice, you know? <laughs> 80 racks, you know what I'm saying? She would give in again. Yeah. And it was it was a watch and then a this and a that. Yeah, yeah. And like it, but obviously I she mean, knows. It's for the rappers, mom. It's exactly. not for me. It's, I got you know. I'm not even on. wearing it, you know? <laughs> yeah. So it was it was more of like uh, you know, and then that turned into like a, a business of its own a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. with the watches and whatever, because watches appreciate, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So if I had one watch, you know, it's it's hot for three months, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. After three months, I want another one. I'm not going to go dump another, you know, 100 yeah. racks into it. I'm going to flip this. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, well, depending on the watches you're buying, especially exactly. like in the last few years, some been of these crazy. watches doubled, doubled oh, in price. Oh, yeah. You know, it's the been APs crazy. and the, the, the paddocks and whatever, they were, yeah. if you're buying one for 80, you're selling for like 110 easy, you know, yeah, that's like what a I'm year saying. later. You so know, that's, so. it's more of like a, it's more of how you do it. You know, if you go too crazy, you're going to not last. Right. My mom always told me that. Yeah. A and my father, but mostly my mom's drilled into my head. Like, you know, Money is here today. It cannot be here tomorrow. Right. That's that's kind of what you know her thing was always, and like you know if if she tells you hey you know you made ten thousand I have ten thousand saved she has like ten folds really you know what I'm saying yeah so like that's that's how uh, how I've grown up and realized how she is but it it just it makes sense it helped it helped at the end yeah of the yeah day. It, it really does if it wasn't for the way that she she saves and and everything I I wouldn't have the fleet that I have today yeah so tell me like a a little bit about just the, the mentality that he takes to just keep going and not to get too carried away. I mean, obviously, clearly your parents really instilled in you like a fucking great mentality in business yeah. and not to like just fucking throw everything away. But, yeah. you know, you have your friends at your at your age at that time that are doing the dumbest shit, let's just say. You know what I mean? Just dumb like kid shit. And then uh -huh. you're over here, you're investing money, you're dealing with real fucking real people, real business. So. Yeah, I mean, the the thing that I've always done uh, and like it's w my dad too, from what I've heard from him, is that he's always been the youngest one in the crowd. Even when he was, he always tells me stories. You know, I was younger, but I was always around older people. That's what he would tell me. Yeah. And that's me. Yeah. I'm rarely around the same people my age. Yeah. Very rarely. From a very young age, it just... Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, I would say from, like, when I had a mind of my own, probably, that's kind of how I always I, I always was. I, You know, for people, I was always the more mature than my age or more just just anything. Because, you know, I've never had that point where, like, I want to be like somebody. That's right. what that's how people fuck up. Uh, true. You know what very I'm saying? True. Like, hey, I want to be like him, so I'm going to do what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but that person really is doing something stupid. Right. So Versus, I, yeah, exactly. I'm going to be my own person. I don't really exactly. give a fuck what you think. Yeah, like, I can care I mean? less. Yeah. Uh, you know, because in uh, and, and, and the shoes I was still, you know, obviously I, I, I'm very, I hold a very humble, you know, mentality. But at the same time, you have to humble people. You know what I'm saying? So I was kind of, not always, but more uh, older than I was getting. I was always kind of that kid that they wanted to be like. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I want to be that kid 
that has a Lambo. I want to be that kid that has this or that has that. Yeah. Because, you know, younger people always think about materialistic things. Right. That's the first thing. They don't right. care. Hey, I want that, that kid because he's so respectful. They yeah. don't care about that. And at, at the same time, now, uh, you know, we talked about this before in other episodes, just like they just see the success. You know, they see the Lambo. They're like, oh, shit, he got a Lambo. Yeah, you know that's I mean, all. it's not like... You know the 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 hustle and grind. You went out there. You got you got mentorship from a from a fucking billionaire, basically, to, to like yeah. teach you how to like do these things. Uh, you know you're out there in tough situations as a 14 year old asking people like, give me your money. You know, give me the money that exactly that I'm I mean, owed in a sense. It's it's, uh, it's adults are like feel awkward asking for what. Yeah, they're owed it's a stuff. sense of it's a sense of hustling in itself. Mm -hmm. You know, like you have the street level hustling where they sell drugs. And then you have a other sense of hustling where you got to make a deal, like a sale or at a car dealership. Yeah. And it's a sense of hustling, like listen, you got to you, you got to convince somebody to to spend uh, $1400 for this car for one day so they can look good on the Insta on Instagram. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, nowadays it's not really hard convincing because yeah. that's how people are, like right. you know, that's that's first nature. Like I said, they want to be like somebody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's where these rappers that I uh, you know, I hear from them to, as rappers because they're people too. But like, that's right. the the most the art. Yeah, yeah, that's what they are. You know, artists and this and that. Mm -hmm. But that's where they they come into this business perfectly mm -hmm. because uh, they have tens of millions of followers, and yeah. the regular person on, on the streets like, yo, if you know, he's driving a Lambo, bro. I want to be gotta, like him. Yeah, yeah, I gotta try to exactly do the same thing. And, th and at the same time, our artists have to kind of uphold an image, so yeah. it kind of works. Both ways, business at exactly. The same time There's always like, something. Right, I got. I need. They need cars. They need yeah. cars for the videos. They, the artists consistently are going to need your service. They're going to need something. Yeah. Right. If it's a yeah. car or if it's a connect or if it's something. Yeah. That's kind of what I've always. I've. I've branched out a lot. Like I've. I'm try. I try to monetize anything. Mm -hmm. When it comes to cars, like, you know, if somebody's looking to lease a car, I, I have the connect for that. Listen, yeah. you. You want this car? I call this guy. You get that car. Yeah, it's not strictly you know renting or this or that. You know, hey, if you want rims for your car, give me a call. I have you know I have the wholesaler for rims. Right. And then obviously I'll throw a couple of dollars on top. You know, for for my yeah, time. Yeah, of course, obviously. So that's just kind of I I just try to monetize every and anything. At at this point. Yeah, yeah. You you get into like jewelry rentals things like that yet or not really? Listen, right? it's oh it's been a thought, but the thing is like you know a car is harder to steal than a watch. Right. You know what I'm saying and. Like uh, the way insurances work, you know, one claim is bad. Imagine a hundred claims yeah. on your insurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, so it's like, it's kind of for me. It looks like a recipe for disaster. Yeah, unless you're sitting there watching the fucking person step by step. Where the yeah, like if you give him a, a security guard or something, but it's just like, what is too somebody gonna pay for a Rolex? Yeah, too you know much of a hassle. It's just not worth it. Right. Yeah. You know, you could be greedy, but not that greedy. What What other things are you like starting to get into, or like, uh, you know, just in general, what other investments are you trying to make, looking into? Uh, well, I mean, one thing I've always learned from my parents and all the, the very big money people is that real estate is never a way to go wrong. Right. So, you know, whatever money that I make that I don't put into getting another car or keeping my fleet the way it is, you know, upholding it. I like to, obviously, the, my, my mom is more like the ATM. Yeah. But I'm like, hey, listen, I want to do this. And I think it's better. You know, she has the money, but I kind of direct it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? With her advice. Right, right. So and she's um, looking at the numbers, kind of reviewing it and be like, all right, this is a good investment. Yeah, it's it makes sense investment. or it doesn't make sense. Right. Exactly. So real estate is is kind of like uh, like the second hand of the business. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of a, a good way to just keep your value. You yeah, I mean? especially in this area. You know what I mean? You're yeah. not really going to lose value. In yeah, long, I mean, even if it loses term. a little bit, you still have the property. Yeah, right, exactly. So, uh, but in general, like now that you're 18, you're pushing, you're, con you're obviously for been working only, you're, only 18 years old and you've been working for so fucking long yeah. so tell me just about like are you now like do you feel like a workaholic sometimes you get still time to have to have fun I, you, right after this you're leaving the studio to connect with more people to, to yeah get i mean more look, clients so uh this uh what, what i call work is like it's a dream right in my opinion i mean in, in my eyes like listen i get to i mean i pulled up here with the mclaren you know like right. You know that's the only car I had left, but that's kind of what I like how I work. Like people always ask me, "Hey, what's what's your personal car?" And I'm like, "That was my personal car until you know until somebody offered me money." Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so now it's like so that's how I I always say like, "Hey, this can be my personal car, but a client sees it and they want it, I'm not gonna say no to money." Yeah. So yeah, car has been your passion forever. Yeah. And now you're just dealing with cars and you get the exactly drive. that's that's your like dream a, cars as a kid. Exactly, like an artist that so loves to paint. Fun. That's yeah. getting paid for it. You know. Like, yeah. It's it's not really a job like 
yes, it's a job. You know, you have headaches and ups and downs. Cars get crashed. Cars get this, that. People try to run, whatever. Stupid shit. Tell me, tell me one of those stories. Someone oh, tried to run with your God, money. Oh, my God. I could be here until tomorrow. <laughs> like, it's just, yeah, bro, the people, you will meet the dumbest people you've ever met in your life. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me one, just one story uh, uh, about like someone trying to run away with your money. Or did anybody ever try to steal a car? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, bro. Just, they Is don't it? think they have trackers. Like I don't know. <laughs> like yo, like what do you think the cops are gonna think of a bright orange Lamborghini going down the road? They're not gonna look at you. Like, right. They don't think, bro. But like one story I could tell you about a car getting crashed. This girl comes to my showroom. Uh, insurance checks out. Everything is good. Obviously, that's number one. Insurance has mm -hmm. to be good. I don't care if you're bringing me $10,000. I can care less. If your insurance is not good, I'm not taking you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This girl comes in. Her insurance is good. She comes in with a guy who at that time I thought was her boyfriend. Okay. So it's two of them coming to the showroom. And uh, they're taking the car for two days. It was it was um, my orange Lambo, the one that started it all. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it was a little fucking tough spot, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's, and that's like... Yeah, that yeah. was, like, I tried not to get attached, but that was like the baby, you know? Right, like, right, right, of course. This car is whatever. So they come in, it was two days, it was, uh, it was 2800 for the two days and the weekend, whatever they pay, $2,500 deposit. Yo, they're paying me in $5 bills, straight up. I'm like, what the fuck? Yo, I'm there for fucking <laughs> two hours, bro, can I this money? So I'm like, uh, that's one red flag. But listen, money's money. It comes yeah, in green, uh, you know, whatever. Fuck it. Yeah. It's whatever. You look past the five dollars. <laughs> yeah, I was like, whatever. I guess it's money for the laundromat or something. You know, like my laundromat <laughs> that I have, we'll put it in the in the change machine. So um, we're moving on. I mean, I, I go outside because she's the one, the insured, the one that's supposed to be driving, the one that signed the contract. She gets in the car. She does not know what what she's doing, which it happens. Yeah, that, that's what I'm there for. You yeah. know, I have guys that have never I mean, driven. I had trouble opening the fucking door, so I get yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> so I have I have guys that don't know how to drive the car. So whatever. So I'm there literally, bro, half an hour, dude. I'm telling her the same thing four times. Yeah. This is how you put it in drive. That's how you put it in park. It's reverse, this, that, whatever. So I, I was hesitant. I was like, bro, let me just take the car from her, give her her money. Yeah. And whatever. I was like, bro, she's, she doesn't know how to drive it. Yeah. You know, but the thing is like, yo, once you're in drive, it's dummy proof. Like my little sister can drive that car. <laughs> so I was like, bro, the money's money. 2800 Right. Fuck it. She goes, everything is good, no speed alerts. I have everything on my phone. I can turn the car off from my phone. Oh, got you. All the above. I know where it is, what it's doing. Oh, and it gives you an alert, like if someone's like going fast as well. Yeah, yeah, everything, whatever. everything. So um, no speed alerts, nothing. So I got home late that night, like 2 in the morning, whatever. I knock out. I wake up 7 in the morning to a phone call. All right, whatever, I answer the phone. The guy goes, uh, I is shiptar. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, uh, yeah, it was good. That means are you Albanian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back home. yeah. I was like, yeah, what's up? He's like, uh, I'm calling from this and this precinct, NYPD, whatever. Yeah. I was like, okay. He's like, hey, uh, we have your car here. I'm like, all right, bet. I was like, I thought maybe they had drugs in the car. Maybe they're trying to run from the cops. Stupid yeah. shit. You never know what people think. Right. I was like, all right, I'll be there in like an hour. I'll pick it up. He's like, yeah, you got to come with a tow truck to pick it up. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, they pop a tire. Uh, yeah, funny, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, it's like, hey, it's going to be a little more than that. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, you're mean? thinking it's the Albania dude just fucking with you at this point. Yeah, in the he's an Albanian cop. I didn't even know how they got my number, where they got yeah. my number, but they did. I don't know. Yeah. And whatever. So, yeah, I was like, all right, can you send me a picture? Yo, the guy sends me a picture. The car is destroyed. I mean, done. Like, like. Not a little bump. It's f totaled, bro. It's like, fucking like look like it spun a couple of times. Oh yeah, bro. There's a dent. Like they, they, they. I mean, you're familiar with Manhattan. Yeah. You're yeah. familiar with the meat meat packing district. Right. How many trees do you see in the meat packing district? <laughs> Yo, like, one every three blocks. Like. <laughs> okay. Yo. He hit a tree in the meat packing district. Yeah. <laughs> bro, if I paid you, let's say I gave you hundred dollars, I'm like, cuz, go hit that tree. You'll probably miss. <laughs> And they hit the fucking tree, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. And bro, you have to destroy it. You destroy plus the meat packing has got the fucking uh, yeah, like the, 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 the yeah, fucking the back gravel. Fucking what the fuck is it called? Yeah, pay, you like, know what I'm saying? Like, like the fucking rolls are going yeah, like this and shit, bro. So and so you got to be flying through that motherfucker, like uh, you know, yeah, bro. They the car is low, okay? So they jumped the curb, hit the tree. That's not even the craziest part. They left the car there. It's just. They dipped straight up. 
You just left. They left it. Yo, <laughs> not my problem. <laughs> not my car. Not my problem. I swear, yo, it's funny, bro. It's, oh it, my god, bro. Bro, so I asked the cop. I was like, all right, so where are they? They died. Like, what's going on? You know, because that's the worst thing to ever happen. Right, right. Our car course. gets crashed. I listen. Thing, I love are the, are the people okay? I'm like, are the people? Yeah. I'm like, are they okay? <laughs> the fuck, okay? Because okay? my car is Yeah. <laughs> He's like, uh, we don't know where they are. I was like, hey, no. Man. Like, are you serious, bro? I was like, all right, the story keeps getting better. <laughs> and now it's Sunday, right? Yeah. The car is in the impound lot. I can't get it till you tomorrow. You can't get it till Monday, right? Nice. Got to pay fees, this, that, whatever. So, yo, my mom comes to my room. I don't know. It's like playing. Like, it was a fucking play. Yeah. Comes in. What's wrong? I was like, yo, nothing. Just get out, nothing, bro, please. Nothing. I don't want to talk right now. Yeah. Go back to sleep. My baby, my baby died. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go back to sleep. <laughs> oh my You know, God. like you know when Drake's like, pass me a shot. You know what I'm saying? Like that ass, bro. So oh I was like, God. I was like, yo, they crashed the orange Lambo. I mean, that wasn't the first crash I've had. Yeah. So she was like, oh, okay, whatever, they'll fix it. But this was like not fixable. Type yeah, of shit. I was like, this bro, is like the first fucking car you invested in is gone. Done. Yeah, finished. Done. Completely done. Was it paid off at this point, at least? Oh yeah, yeah, it was uh, paid yeah, off. Thank God. Paid off a yeah. couple times over, but. Yeah, well. Uh, for itself at that point. Yeah, yeah. But the thing was like, bro, my car is gone or whatever. So I tell my mom, I'm like, yo, my car is done. She's like, no way, whatever. So she's making me more depressed. I'm like, yo, chill, bro. <laughs> like, calm down, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh What's God. going on, you know? So whatever, Monday, because she's the, the title owner right, of right. that car. She has to go sign it out. And she called me. She's like, beer. It's really that bad. <laughs> I really was like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about yeah. it all fucking Sunday. Yeah. Not Monday, I'm like, happy. I'm yeah. glad it's that bad. I said, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's that bad. Yeah. It's fucked up. <laughs> so whatever. So yo, oh, I skipped a little bit of the story. After they're gone, the people are gone. My mom goes into straight detective mode, bro. Yeah. She, I'm trying to call the girl's fucking number. Filing hairs in the car and shit. No, no, no. The car's still there. We're at, we're in my room. Yeah. Just sitting there, fucking twiddling our thumbs. My mom's like, yo, call a bitch. Just like this. My, my mom's like bitch. that. My yeah. mom's my parents are young. My yeah. mom's uh, 40, my dad's 41. Yeah. My mom's like one of the cool moms. You don't give a fuck. She's <laughs> like, yo, bitch. call the bitch. I was like, yeah, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I'm I did? one step ahead of you. <laughs> yeah. you know? She's like, okay, and what? I was like, she didn't answer. <laughs> yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? So I, I called her, no answer. My mom's like, What's the bitch's name? <laughs> I gave her the name of the Yellow policy. pages. Fuck it. Yo, my mom goes online. She finds out her address, her dad's name, her mom's name, <laughs> her mom's number. Oh, my I God. I was like, hoppa, here we go. Here we go. Call the mom. Yo, so I call the mom, bugging out. The mom answers, hello. I'm like, listen, you stupid bitch. I said, oh, my God. Find your daughter before I find her. <laughs> She's like, what happened? Is that the Spanish mom. I was like, she's like, what happened? Whatever. I was like, yo, your daughter rented my car yesterday. Did you know? She's like, no. I'm like, she used your insurance. Oh, oh what kind of car? I was A like, sit down. Sit down for this one. Lamborghini Huracan, cuz. <laughs> she's like, oh my God, my daughter. Now she's bugging out. She's trying to call her daughter. Yeah. Daughter's not answering. Not answering. Oh, oh, then I find a dad's number. Oh, oh my I was like, God. Listen. Right down the whole family. And I'm like, listen, cuz, how do you want to work this out? I said, because you own a towing company. He's like, how do you know that? Don't worry how I know it. I said, you own a towing company. Yeah. He's like, I do. I was like, do you want your towing company to be tri state towing? I said, when, when, how I'm doing with you? <laughs> He's like, I don't know, whatever. Turns out the boyfriend was driving the car. The boyfriend crashed. That girl that was with him is his sister in law. Ah. Uh. So she's going through everything. Her name is fucked. She got it for her brother-in-law. Her brother-in-law. Oh, my God. So, yo, at this time, I'm under the impression, yo, the dad's calling me. He's like, yo, we can't go through insurance because they'll, they'll kick me off. I yeah. was like, all right, bet. I've been to this rodeo before. I said, right. you guys try to run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you, but like now, in general. Now you want me to, yeah. Yeah. So now you want like, me to play nice. You guys fucking left my car yeah. on, a, on the only tree at meatpacking. Exactly. So right now it's Monday. I'm like, listen, cuz. Car is worth two hundred and sixty-five thousand. I said, "You got until Thursday, ten p.m. to come up with the money. If you don't want me to call your insurance, yeah. I'm mean, sorry, ten a.m. Yeah. I was like, at ten o one, if I don't have a phone call from you, or if you're not in front of me, 
I'm calling the insurance and making a claim. Yeah. Yo, later that day, the boyfriend calls me. I mean, the husband and all, whatever. Yeah, brother and all, whatever the fuck. He's like, listen, bro, I'm going to come up with this money because this guy is going to kill me. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, cuz, I don't care. I guess you're going to be dead. I said, that's tough, you know? Yeah. They, I guess they come to an agreement. They wanted to go through insurance. I was hoping they weren't gonna go because yeah, they, obviously they, that would have been nice. You know? Yeah, they drag and the it fucking out. headache and all the shit. Yeah, it takes longer. Yeah, call the insurance, whatever this that. That's that story. Yeah. So just imagine what I got. What uh, what do you got? Yeah. We got we got to do like two more interviews for fucking oh, yeah, for fucking imagine, stories. I'm like, <laughs> just imagine if I hear my phone fucking vibrate in the nighttime. I throw that shit on the other side <laughs> of the room, bro. Don't answer. <laughs> that's it. I'm telling you, bro. Uh, bro would that be you said? Tell everybody first of all how how where they should where they can hit you up to rent the cars, where they can see the list of cars and all that. Like yeah, just so, lead people through the. I mean, uh, through the I, process of even renting a car. So all right, so we'll go through the process first. Let's say you want a car, right? Right. Call me, hey, I want this car. The question that I learned to ask everybody is, what's your budget? Because mm-hmm. yo, like, they call me, I want a Lambo. I tell them it's sixteen hundred. Oh, I oh, can't do that. Well, yeah, that's tough. Oh, well, you know, like what else? What do you think? Yeah. So whatever, I asked the budget. If the budget isn't within me, they tell them what cars they can get in that budget. Mm-hmm. If that's, you know, we've got the car sorted out of the way, you know, can you send me your license and your insurance? I have my, my, my office. They verify everything. Make sure you have enough coverage to take the car. Make sure your coverage transfers over into my car. Yeah. Whatever. Insurance is done. That's when I give my address to my showroom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come over. Here's the contract. You sign this, initial this, whatever, this, that. Go out to the car. Obviously, I get paid. Go out to the car. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, you know what you're doing? Yes or no? Show them what's going on, what they got to do. Usually, I got to connect their phone. It's usually how it goes, yeah. the Bluetooth. Yeah. And then uh, from there, they're just on their way, you know? Yeah. I've I've yet to have, like, a bad customer experience just because that's kind of... I, I strive the most... The, the most thing I strive for is relationships and yeah. customer uh, service. Yeah. You know, there'll like, be another day when they might need it. If they have a good experience, they're, they're going to come, come back. back. Right. Exactly. So that's you, if that's done, you know, they're out of the way. That's all. Yeah. Now, where to reach me, um, you know, you just either my, my Instagram page, my personal one, mm-hmm. uh, durim.juta or um, the... That's Z-U-T-A. Yeah, D-U-R-I-M that, dot Z-U-T-A. Correct. And then the rental page is Tri-State Luxury Rentals. No space, no cab, nothing. Just straight yeah. up. And that's, that's it. Yeah, and then you got a website too where you have a list of all your cars. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of like rentals.com. you had a bunch of questions there that you know I'm sure fucking people ask anyway. Oh yeah. You know, so that the, you, the you know FAQs or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So with that being said, if you need a fucking hot car for your next music video yeah. and your insurance checks out, you can get it from my boy yeah. right here. <laughs> Hit him up. And if you're Albanian, uh, don't ask for a discount. No free <laughs> handouts, please. <laughs> <laughs> or any anything, not even Albania, whatever you want. Whatever. Don't no ask for discounts. discount. No discount. I didn't get a discount when I bought it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <Don't ask. laughs> yeah, because you never know if you end up around a fucking tree, then what? Oh, now you give a discount and the fucking car is wrapped around uh-huh. a tree. Your insurance is going to give you a discount off their policy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what they're going to do. <laughs> All right, bro. Yo, thanks a lot for coming right, through, bro. Uh, for sure, I'm a fucking. Uh, my insurance might not check out, but you know what? Maybe <laughs> right, we'll we can put some shit it. on my brother's name and then take whip that shit. <laughs> we can raise it. We can yeah. raise it. <laughs> All right, bro.